Hi guys, this is Ajin Abraham and uh, in this video I will be dealing with the buffer or flow attacks and I will be showing you the demonstration and I design this video in such a way that uh, people uh, who does not have knowledge in ethical hacking or uh, programming can even understand what a buffer or flow attack is. So let's begin. So basically what is a buffer? A buffer is nothing but it is just a block of memory. And uh, what is buffer overflow? A buffer overflow is caused when too much of data is inserted in the buffer than it can handle. So that may lead to the executing of arbitrary call if a certain memory point is ordered. So that is what buffer overflow is. And uh, now uh, I'll be showing a demonstration. So let me call a program uh, that is uh, vulnerable again this buffer of flow. So take up the terminal and uh, yes. make it more visible. Uh, okay. So I am using the arrow editor. You know, uh, program B buffer dot C. So program in C language. So the people who doesn't know C, don't worry, I will explain it. So the first call is a version cloud studio robots. Let's have a file, it's a C library and void main. This is a part of a C program from where the execution starts or begins. And now I am declaring the character pointer that star main. Then yeah, star command. So now we're going to allow to the memory space for these two pointers. That is a main equals star color key. This malloc command is used to allocate memory to some variable. So here I uh, am specifying 10 bytes. Uh, what, I, what it will do is that it will allocate 10 bytes to main variable. Then for command, it will assign 128 bytes to command pointer. And now, in that, let's say so. That means, let's say this is selection module. So, here, in that, is a function used for displaying, displaying something to the console. And, uh, is uh, displaying address of main is percentage b that will uh, denotes that the value to be displayed is an integer and name. So this statement will uh, display the address of address that is given or assigned to the name. This name is uh, dynamically allocated since we are using malloc function. So now print up address is address of uh, command is percentage d is an integer slash n slash n is used for printing in a new line from our command now print the difference between address is That's also an integer value that is present this e slash n a new line comma command minus main that is it will show the address bytes uh, that's a difference of the address bytes uh, between these two variables main and command and now 
So it will just display in the console under your name and uh, I'm using a function called guess. This is uh, used to get the input that is given by the user and is stored in the main variable and then in the hello in the percentage yes that means uh, the value to be printed is a string and slash n for new life comma main that will display the main it's appended with hello and then this will come out system command so what this piece of code is that a system call uh, or a system function will execute the stuff that is specified in the command variable in the console so all the stuff that is specified in the command variable will be executed in the shell and that's our program so let's say it for that press control o and press enter then exit from it press control z and now let's combine it ecc buffer dot c minus output buffer so there are now less only some warnings and one interesting warning is here the get function is dangerous and should not be used don't worry let's use it that's for our demo purpose so let's execute it dot slash buffer so our program is uh, showing Address of name is 140341256 and address of command is 140341272. That means there is an address difference of 16 bytes. So as me for your name. So let me be my name, Ajina Braham. It's uh, showing hello Ajina Braham, no problem. Thank you. So let me do one more thing. You can here you can see that address of name is uh, reading with the respect to the previous execution of the call that means that the malloc is uh, dynamically allocating the main and now here in the end of your name I will be doing www.klrcyberface sorry so here is something more that is hello www.klrcyberface.in and there is something like orc.in command not found so that means someone tried to execute some command and that command is not found in the shell. Let's do one thing over CE dot in. Yes, the same stuff we are also getting. So let me change my code a little bit like this and executing the program. I will be giving www.kvala.cyberforce.in and instead of this ORC dot in, I'm giving cal slash etc slash process watch see this so this is what basically a buffer overflow it results in arbitrary call execution I'll be explaining it soon um, you know that uh, there are a lot of applications uh, like this working uh, based on uh, what based on internet or uh, having a web interface like FTP and all. So if there are some buffer overflow vulnerabilities in those applications, in this way an attacker can exploit it to execute the system commands. That's an arbitrary call injection can be done and uh, root your system or you can hack into your system or whatever. So now I'll be explaining how this code injection or a buffer overflow work. So here is the memory structure or memory layout of uh, uh, the name and command pointers. So you know that in, in that code you had used uh, uh, you had assigned a ten bytes to name. So 
consider a, a dynamically allocated memory say for example starting from 1.290.3.0.4 so 10 bytes is allocated for name as you specified in the malloc and there are 6 additional bytes that's for malloc call that means uh, it requires uh, these 6 bytes for freeing up this memory space when it is not used for that purpose and all and then after the 10 plus 6 16 bytes there is 1.290.3.0.2.0 from where the command variable or command point is assigned it's assigned 128 bytes as specified in the malloc and there are 6 bytes additional for malloc and then what the function of the command variable or point is that when a system function or system call function is executed the contents in the variable command got executed in the normal execution of the program when the user give an input of uh, some smaller names that's up to 16 characters no problem nothing got uh, inside this command variable and nothing will get executed and next in the name variable or the pointer the function of name is to read a name and assign it to that variable for that we use gets and then it's also used with printf statement to display the name that is with appended with hello okay. and when you give an input say www.klacyberforce.in what happened it was uh, what happened was uh, uh, when you give the stuff it will be assigned in memory like this so the www.klr will be assigned with the name pointer which, uh, which is allotted with 10 bytes so the 10 bytes of uh, the word that is www.krla is assigned to name and the 6 byte is assigned with malloc that is cyber f and the remaining went to the command section that is uh, orc.in so what we had done is that instead of that orc.in we had appended cat slash etc slash password so that results in arbitrary code injection and this is what a buffer overflow attack is or how basically it works and this buffer also attack is caused because the get function doesn't limit the length of the input. If it had limited to some 16 bytes or to some 10 bytes, this problem won't be occurring. So to overrule this buffer also, you can use functions like fget of name comma 10 comma std. That means uh, it will read a maximum of 10 characters from the input. And this is how you can uh, overrule or what make a protective measure against is against this buffer of flight attack and there are a lot more complicated buffer of flight attacks uh, this is uh, just the basic stuff to make you understand how it works and uh, what is it so that's all thank you